are you a new realtor or been in the business for a while but really struggling to make six figure income then this video is for you because i have a really special guest who is a good friend of mine mike shenrod who actually hit the record of being top 30 agents in the country within his first 10 months and from there onwards his business skyrocketed this was in 2017 so in this video he's going to give you a six figure income plan as an agent if you haven't making that or if you want to increase your income on top of existing one with youtube he's going to give a clear plan to to achieve that so stay tuned <music> Welcome guys. Uh, today I'm here with one of my role model actually. I'm super excited with none other than Mike Sherrod who actually been started to blow his YouTube channel giving us lots of content for new real estate agents like me and you know whoever looking to grow their influence on social media. So Mike, thank you so much for you know being on the show. Man, thank you so much. It's exciting to finally have the opportunity to collaborate with other Canadians because as we know, the majority of people on YouTube are down in the state. So now that we can yeah. jam out, uh, this is an exciting time. Yeah, exactly. Actually, not many people. You're right, especially realtors. Definitely. So, you know, I, I know a lot about you, but I would like to, you know, for people who don't know you, um, who are you, you know, how did you got into real estate? Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about you? Yeah, definitely. So you and I have some similarities in our story, which I'll get to in a minute, but the long and short of it, I'll try and make it as short as possible is, you know, I ended up taking two degrees in three years back in university. I took something called uh, technology management and entrepreneurship, as well as mechanical engineering. And during those three years, you know, all my professors said it was impossible to do that course load. But in my last year, I started reading books. And my whole dream as a kid was to work as an engineer, climb the corporate ladder, do what my dad did, and end up maybe one day becoming a manager or something. But I started reading books. And in my last year, I stumbled upon Rich Dad, Poor Dad. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's what kicked off the whole journey. And I started realizing that based on similar to you, my ambition, my drive, my lifestyle, my goals, that there was a better way of doing it than climbing the corporate structure. And so I ended up graduating, moved from New Brunswick to Calgary, Alberta, and I was an engineer. Um, and I was an engineer for a year and a half. I ended up becoming ranked as one of the top employees of 60,000 in my first year. And they sat me down with the managers and said, listen, Mike, you know, you seem like a promising young individual. You're doing really well. Where would you like to go in the company? And I said, you know, I love working with people. I love opportunity. I love to do oil and gas sales. And they said, no problem, Mike. The quickest we can get you there is seven years of technical work. And the next day, <laughs> the next day, I put in my two weeks notice and said, peace. Because I said, you know, you guys are telling me I'm a promising young individual, but you're telling me I have to adhere to the traditional corporate structure of people that aren't proving themselves. And I realized that, you know, there had to be a better way. So I was always interested in investing, but primarily I wanted to learn in marketing, branding, and sales. And I realized that real estate as an agent was a low barrier to entry. I was passionate about real estate and I could learn marketing, branding, and sales. So I got into real estate back in early 2017. Didn't know anybody, wasn't from here, no experience, very young. And I started hitting the doors. And the first night I was licensed, I went door to door and I knocked a minus 10 in the snow, in wow. the dark, until I couldn't feel my hands anymore but I got two listings at $700,000 that first night I was a licensed agent. So, wow. you know, I realized that it worked and I started door knocking and I door knocked every day for three hours a day, regardless of the weather for six months. But I started burning out and I started realizing if I build my business this way, the only time I'm going to make money is when I'm investing time and putting the boots on the ground. And also, I don't care what people say, there's nobody that truly, if you hooked up to a lie detector test, enjoys cold calling or door knocking. Because it's, you know, I enjoyed cold or door knocking more than cold calling, but 
you're still getting rejected all day. You're still yeah. putting the boots on the ground and it's not sustainable. So I started becoming active on social media. I downloaded Instagram the day I was a licensed agent. And 10 months later, just by sharing my journey on Instagram, I was recognized as one of the top 30 realtors in the world on social media. Wow. And that was just behind the first 22 was the cast million dollar listing like Josh Altman, Frederick Declan, Ryan Serhant. So I truly understood the power of what can be done when you blend traditional prospecting and traditional real estate with modern new school strategies. And from there in 2018, um, I've been a top producer every year since I've been a licensed agent in 2018, the majority of my business came through Facebook ads. So I've done really well with Facebook advertising, but over the course of 2018, I started developing my personal brand more to the point where 2019 came around. I actually didn't have to run any Facebook ads and hundred percent of my business came through people direct messaging me on social media. And now we're here today, you and I are at the same brokerage and you know, I'm investing in helping build my brand and build other people's brands because I saw how much more enjoyable it was when people reached out to me and said, you're the guy yeah. I want to work with. And there's no listing competitions. There's no multiple agents. There's no presentations. There's no pitching yourself. They've made up your mind. And now it's more of like a collaboration and less of a, a selling yourself type of idea. I, I agree a thousand percent because, you know, pretty much that's how I started. Like, I hate to call someone who I don't know. Yeah, Man, that's, that's an incredible story. I didn't know this side of it. Like, how was your first year? Honestly, because many people, especially who are starting out, they, they give so many reasons for not uh, making two sales or three sales. But the other hand, you're like one of the top agent in 10 months. Wow. So, you know, if you're talking to a totally a brand new agent, um, what would you recommend them to go start, whether to do a door knocking or would you suggest them to do a social media? Yeah, it's a great question. And, and I get this a lot. And, you know, honestly, I think as a brand new agent, you have to put the boots on the ground and earn your stripes. And I think a lot of people fall victim to this where they say they look at where I'm at now or where some of the other people are at now and say, you know, I'm just going to start with Facebook ads day one, and I'm going to build a six figure business. Well, in theory, yes, but you also need to earn your stripes and build that credibility and that authority. So I think the reason why I accelerated quite quickly is because I blended old school and new school. So I knew that if I door knocked every day for three hours, I could get in front of 150 homes. And if in combination with that, I had Facebook ads for $10 a day running in parallel, that was going to be generating leads around the clock. And by blending the two, it ended up giving me an opportunity to build a true foundation. Whereas most agents don't want to put the effort in and put the grind in, in the beginning. So they say, I'm just going to take the easy route in their mind and start running ads. But when they realize that they don't even know how to do that, they start realizing how difficult it is to scale your business. So my personal advice would be to pick one form of traditional prospecting, whether that be cold calling or door knocking, whichever one you prefer, there's no right answer. I prefer door knocking, some prefer cold calling, and then blend that with $10 a day Facebook ads to start to accrue opportunities for generating leads and getting your first listings and, and buyers. Yeah, I think I agree with that. You know, there you're learning the skills while you're, while you're boots on the ground. Um, honestly, like I didn't, I did that initially. I didn't do the door knocking, but I call my uh, people who I know who I had made connections in last, uh, you know, a few years before I became a realtor. So that, I think I love that. Um, so you know, uh, now nowadays I see you like see your videos every almost like every alternative day, and they're super informative. So, but you know. Now I'm a new agent, like just assume that I'm a new agent. I want to do that, but I don't know where to start. I'm like lost. What would you recommend me doing? Definitely. So, you know, you and I have talked about this before where it's, I think at the end of the day, a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. And a lot of people say, well, I'm a new agent. I don't know what I can put a video out about. Well, you got your real estate license. So now you know more than 
95% of the general public. So yeah. start to share things, how to buy a house, how to sell a house, how to prepare it for selling. When is the best time to sell? What do you do for negotiating? There's so many things that people are curious about. I still work with people to this day that have sold multiple homes, but this happens to be their first time selling in Alberta. And they're saying, Mike, we've sold seven homes before, but what's the process here? And they're, they're seasoned veterans and they still don't know the process. So take your knowledge and just share it. But I've got a list of videos here that I can share with you if you like that I think agents yeah. should do in order to make sure that they leverage the knowledge that they already have. Because again, people are always searching for this golden egg or this ticket that's overnight success, but it's just sharing what's obvious that people are actually looking for. So I've, I've written it down here to make sure I don't forget, but yeah. the I've got five video topics here that every agent needs to create. Number one is video specifics to your city. So that's things like your Windsor, um, Ontario video, the cost of living in your city, moving to your city, five things you need to know, how to buy a house in your city, how to sell a house in your city, how to invest in your city. That's number one is you need to do city specific real estate related topics. Now, number two, I think is really good is local business interviews or collaborations. When you start looking at the opportunity to leverage other people's audiences, a lot of people don't even understand the fact that, you know, real estate agents have a stigma. There's no doubt about it. A lot of people don't like realtors. I never liked realtors growing up, <laughs> but when you collaborate with people that have the respect of your city, that kind of gives you an in that others don't have. Because if you do a video with the top restaurant in your city that everybody loves to go with, and the chef there or the owner is doing a video with you, now they see, oh, well, I love this restaurant, and Adit is doing a video with him. He must be a pretty cool guy. So doing local business collaborations gives you credibility, but it allows you to leverage their audience as well, which is usually very extensive, especially if they commit to sharing it as well. Number three is local events. So Canada Day events, any local event, for example, here we have Calgary Stampede, Lilac Festival, Chasing Summer. There's events going all the time. People are always searching for those events. So if you happen to be one, the only agent that does an event coverage, then the next year when that event happens and people are searching for information about it, your video will show up and you become the face of that event. Now, number four is community tours. I think this is an incredible one for farming and prospecting because a lot of times if people are looking to move into a new community, they want to know the cost of the properties. They want to know the amenities. They want to know the transportation, the schools, the access, and everything about that. Because if they're moving, for example, from the north side of Calgary to the south, oftentimes they don't know what it has to offer. So those are incredible videos for farming neighborhoods. And then the fifth one is the cliche market reports. Even though this isn't something that's going to give you longevity because it has to be done on a monthly basis, it is extremely good for building up a credibility and authority in your market. And also if you're doing a video about a market report, then it's a great opportunity to send it to your database instead of saying, hey, here's a PDF with the monthly market report. You have a DEA coming on camera and saying, hey, here's the five things you know from a buyer's perspective and seller's perspective. Now they're getting familiar with you again. They're building up the like, know, and trust factor because they're seeing your face and you're nurturing them in a way that no other agent is. Yeah, oh man, that's fantastic topics. I think everyone must do. I only did like two or three till that from your list. I'm like, oh, so many things I can implement from that. And I love that, like especially the community and the um, restaurants or any small businesses that are like popular. Even people search for those businesses and you show up there. I love that. You know, anyone who says that they don't have topics, here you go. You got exactly. like, literally, you, I asked you for five, but if, you, if I realize you gave me more than like 10 to 15 videos you can make out of that content. Love it. I really love it. And so, you know, uh, you pretty much like started with door knocking and IGT. But what if you start your business all over again now as a brand new agent with all the knowledge that you have now? What would you, where would you focus your, you know, energy and time? Definitely. So, 
if I was to start today, I would do a couple of different things differently. And this is something that is a hard topic to cover because a lot of people think that you need to be the best at everything. But what I, what I like to present to people is that each platform has its own intent. And a lot of people seem to forget about that. I personally treat Instagram as personal branding, building top of mind personal brand awareness and attraction of local clients. I treat Facebook entirely as paid lead generation. And I treat YouTube as the ability to rank organically locally and attract at scale over time because it's evergreen content. So if I was to start, people say, Mike, what's one platform you would start with? I wouldn't start with one platform. I'd start with all of them, but I'd have a plan. And that's something that I didn't do because nobody back in 2017, especially up here in Canada, was properly leveraging social media. So if I was to start as a brand new agent July 1st, for example, I would do door knocking every maybe three days a week for three hours every single week for the rest of the year for the first six months. I would run Facebook ads at $5 a day with a custom list of homes under a certain price point. I would post a minimum of three times a week on Instagram using the 80-20 rule. 20% should be specific to real estate content, just listed, just sold, open house, coming soon, all that good stuff. And 80% should be real estate related, but you need to be in the photo. And then I would put out one YouTube video a week minimum. Do not shoot for the stars and say you're gonna put out five videos a week because I'll tell you now that's not gonna happen. It's not sustainable until you've built the system. One key video per week is more than enough, but I would have all of these platforms running in synchronization, using them with intent. Because when I first got started, I was just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what stuck yeah. because I had no blueprint. But now you can watch YouTube videos, learn how to properly tag and optimize stuff and do well from day one. You can look at a free Facebook video I have that's a 45 minute tutorial and learn how to run a Facebook ad the right way from day one. You can look at what to post and see how you can actually attract clients using Instagram instead of turning it into a homes and land magazine. So I think I would take a step back I would build out a structured and plan that has intent behind it. And then I would make sure that I'm consistently executing on all of those every single week. That's awesome. I wish someone told me this two years ago when I started. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And, and guys, I think if you still have questions, let me know in the comments below. Mike, you know, ask Mike. And also um, another question, one last question I have for you, Mike. Um, as you know, we both are in EXP. Um, I know pretty much I started with EXP, but you started with some other brokerage, was one of the top broker in your city, but now you, you joined EXP. So why? Yeah, it's, it's an amazing question, man. And, and a lot of people right now in Calgary are asking that same question too. But I started looking and you and I both use the same word every single time we talk, which is lifestyle. And I feel like a lot of real estate agents get into the business to become, um, to become successful enough to build a lifestyle. But what you don't realize is the average realtor, which is about 90% of them, build their business in a way where they become an employee of the system and they'll never achieve that lifestyle because they're only trading time for money and they've only got one stream of income. And when that dries up, even if you're making 250, 300 K a year, if that one dries up because of a global pandemic or because you've retired your time for the business or because we go into a recession, whatever that looks like, you're done. And that's not a way to build a lifestyle. We know that looking at the wealth quadrants, you need duplication, you need equity ownership, you need passive income, you need these opportunities to actually build it and no other brokerage builds that for you. There's no retirement strategy. There's no exit strategy. I see all these realtors that get into the business and say, Mike, you know, I want to do real estate for five years, but then I want to open up a gym or then I want to start an e-com business or whatever. But they're never going to be able to do that because they won't be able to step away. And I feel like there's a lot of agents overlooking this opportunity because of the fact that they're not presented with the right information looking at the fact that it's the fastest growing brokerage in North American history for a reason, looking at the fact that you're getting equity ownership just for doing what you're already doing, helping people buy and sell homes. 
And then people look at the recruiting aspect of it and they were telling me, Mike, you know, you just got to recruit people. But I didn't understand the value of it. But now that I understand the true value of what it does to make you more money and save you more time from multiple different angles, now what I view it as is not recruiting, but it's sharing a model that's going to give an agent an instant pay raise, give them better training, better tools, better resources, and give them the lifestyle they always dreamed of, which their current brokerage will not. So I realized that even my past broker, who I'm still best friends with, he's the CEO of our brokerage. He gave me all of his million dollar listings. I thought that he would gonna be, I thought he was gonna be really upset with me for making the switch. And in his own words, he said, Mike, based on your potential and what you're doing with social media, I know that you would not be able to achieve your true potential at our brokerage. And me and the broker knew you would join EXP at some point, we just didn't know when. So when somebody like a CEO of my old brokerage who I'm best friends with took a step back, removed ego, removed emotion and said, I understand why you're doing this because if I was in your shoes, I would do it too. That's when you know this is a powerful decision. But when you're listening to the average brick and mortar traditional broker that's saying, what are they doing that's nonsense? It's because they're not removing their own ego and emotion and looking unbiasedly. So when I truly understood the potential, I realized I had to be here because there's no other brokerage in the world that's going to give you the opportunity to build wealth, freedom, and a flexible lifestyle like eXp does. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, you have put it in a very well right words. I, I think that's exactly why I'm like literally sold out my first day before even joining any other brokerages. Yeah, that, that's, I would agree with you a thousand percent. Um, Mike, and, and to wrap up with, I know you have a, a something that is awesome to offer to my audience, you know, especially who are looking, uh, you know, who are new agents, uh, want to get some help for uh, content related side. Um, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm going to start with you, with your uh, company soon with a high conversation. Um, what, what does that offer for, you know, for someone who doesn't know about it? Yeah, definitely. So I created a company called High Converting Content and that birthed from people reaching out to me from other industries saying, you know, Mike, I see what you've done with your personal brand and you're attracting clients. I'm still having to go out and hunt for clients. How did you do it? So what I did is I created uh, an agency. We've now got 40 people working with us and it, from an employee side of things. And we're quickly growing because what we're doing is we're helping people, not just realtors, but across every industry, all the way up to Rob Gronkowski, Alex Rodriguez, Tony Robbins we've worked with. And we're helping people attract clients at scale through being the true version of themselves, not trying to be a different version of the current top producer in the market, helping you share your message, share your knowledge and help you attract clients in your niche so that you can scale the modern way. So anything from lead generation with Facebook and Instagram ads, YouTube ads, content repurposing like video marketing on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and making sure that you've got a powerful personal brand across all of your platforms so that when people are typing in your name and look up Aditya Soma, they're gonna see that this guy has his stuff together and he looks like a cut above the rest. Yeah. Awesome. I, I, guys, if you're more interested, I'm going to put all the links in the description where you can reach out to Mike and uh, get more information on that. My, Mike, thank you so much, man. I, I always look up for you, you know, for everything uh, when I'm, you know, in this, in this journey. So really thank you for being here and uh, thank you for sharing such a wonderful tips. I'm pretty sure this will help so many new agents who are getting started. Definitely, man. Well, you know, you've been a, a huge resource for the Canadian market up here and you've proven time and time again that it's just a matter of getting started. So, you know, the one thing I always like to tell people after doing an interview is don't go watch another interview. Don't go watch another one of my interviews. Don't go watch another agent's interview. Take what you learn every time you read a book, listen to a podcast or watch an interview and go take action. You know, Aditya came onto my channel and shared exactly what you need to do with video marketing. After you watch that one video, don't go watch other videos on video marketing. He gave you the blueprint. Go take action. 
don't start going down the rabbit hole of more and more and more consumption and start looking at more and more action. So please, all that I urge you to do, if you've watched this to the end, is look at what we said, reflect on your notes, go make some of those top five list videos and start to crush it for the rest of 2020. Yeah, love that. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how people make things work, man. Go do it. Stop the video right here and then just go do it and put the links in the description if you did the video. So we, we, we can give a you know, high five virtual. Thank you so much, Mike. Thanks, Aditya. Have a wonderful day.